So what I want to do is show a couple demos of this person. You've already seen her. You've already seen what she's able to do. Now let's do some interventions. And the first one I want to start with the supine to sit. Remember now I'm looking at we're early on in rehab, so I want this to be very functional. Now supine to sit, the possible impairments I'm addressing that are specifically unique to this patient is proximal strengthening, that reaction time, uh, her cardiovascular, because it become very challenging doing supine to sit, tire, they tire very quickly, and visual dependency. So we'll make some adjustments to the activity to address those specific impairments. For instance, with reaction time, I'm going to address that by increasing the speed and decreasing the speed of supine to sit. For visual dependency, I'm going to have her perform supine to sit with eyes closed and eyes open. So I can have that same functional activity, but make adjustments that will emphasize one impairment versus another. Some of the self-control cueing activities we might incorporate is which of the following activities do you think will challenge you more? So I'm going to ask her, do you think it'll be harder for you to do this with eyes closed to have you do this quickly or to have you do this multiple times. And then if she wants to do it multiple times because she feels from a self-control standpoint that's going to be most challenging to her, then I can ask her how many reps do you want to do. Okay, Nancy, how are you doing? Okay, now we're going to go through some movements. So the first one I want to see is how you do getting up and you're going to sit on the edge of the mat. I'm going to be right behind you, okay? So you shouldn't have to go anywhere. Right. There you go. Good. Feel okay? Yes. Okay, Nancy. So do you remember when we were doing that coming up from lying down? It seemed like you had a little bit of difficulty with that. How did that feel? A little nerve-wracking. Okay. So I thought we'd work on that, and that'll make you feel a little bit better. But I want you to choose. So we can do that activity. We can work on speed so that you can try to work on doing it faster. We're going to do this over and over again. Or we can try it with your eyes closed. So you can choose to do it with your eyes closed. Is there one that you'd rather start with? Uh, I'd rather start with speed. Okay. All right. So you're going to come on down for me. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up as fast as you can, and then you're going to sit back down. Now, afterwards, I'm going to ask you how you did, okay? okay. Go ahead. Okay, so we're going to come and sit all the way on the edge of the bed. There we go. You're pretty tricky, right? <laughs> we went all the way over here. Good, and back down. Okay, so what are we aiming for? All right, keep going. We're not done yet. How many reps do you think? How many of these do you think you can do until you get tired? Three or four. Okay, let's do three. That was better. How are you feeling? Okay. Okay. How do you think you did? Uh, it could have been faster, I guess. Okay. But it was better than it's when you better. started. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So why don't we try a couple more with your eyes closed this time. How did that feel? Not quite as good. No? no? So this one was harder than the first one? Yes. Okay. So we're going to continue to work on that, all right? 